Meet Zero Enigma, the saddest little man that New York has ever seen. He spends his days whining and complaining about how people walk in New York City, and how poor old him as a cyclist has to put up with it. Now sure, I could understand going on a rant like, like once, but this guy seriously spends his days whining about it. He uploads a video once a week of footage of him yelling at people on the streets and then pedaling away as fast as he can. Now a wise man once told me that if you have enough biking footage of you running into supposed assholes to make 20 minute long videos each week, then you might be the asshole. Now not only is every encounter a severe overreaction, but half of the time that he's whining about something, it's him that's in the wrong. He tries to portray this image of this warrior of bike justice, you know, a real modern day revolutionary, while he covers his face completely in every single video and runs away from any actual confrontation. All he does is hurl middle school grade insults at pedestrians, and then scurries off on his 10 speed. So with that being said, welcome to Zero Enigma most recent video, Bike vs. Stupidity 107. Yeah, there's 107 of these. Wrong way, goat fucker. Wrong way, dumb shit. Wrong way, dumb fuck. What a badass. These guys are very clearly moving out of the bike lane to clear the path, but that doesn't stop Zero Enigma from releasing his fury. His little ego is hurt so badly that he has to cuss them out and then pedal away. Keep fighting the good fight, Zero. Hey, jackass. Look at this great driving here. Great fucking driving. Oh no, a trigger warning. Running red light. Red light warriors unite! So here this dumbass is, complaining about people not following traffic laws as he's running a red light, and then having the audacity to say that people are going to get triggered over it, when his entire fucking channel is him getting triggered over people not following traffic laws. What a genius, modern day Einstein, folks. Yep, teach a kid not to look before crossing. Wrong way, ass juice! Yep, gotta look at that phone! This is another thing that he does all the time that pisses me off. If you drive your bike on the street, that means you are now driving a vehicle, and a bike must obey all the same traffic laws that a car does. And that includes yielding to pedestrians, ass juice. Something that among many other things, he doesn't do ever. Man, if only there was a place dedicated for walking! How do traffic lights work? Will this cop care that I run the light in front of him? We'll see. No, not even this one. This one don't care either. But you know, you got the red light warriors who care. You can always count on them to make comments about me running red lights without threatening anyway safety. Okay, so let me just make sure that I'm hearing this correctly. You're running red lights, lane splitting, not yielding to anybody, not stopping at any stop signs, all things that are illegal, and you're lecturing people about putting others at risk for walking on the edge of the fucking bike lane? Good job blocking the bike lane! Couldn't pull in? Is it really that hard to pull in? Wrong way, goat fucker. Wrong way, asshole. Wrong way, fuck face. Wrong way, fuck tart. Wrong way, shit biscuit. Good job blocking the bike lane, asshole. Could even park here. Yo, how do you suck a parallel parking at a spot that wide? Of course. <laughs> shoot is a photo shoot. Yeah, and that is a stop sign. Good job blocking traffic! Wrong way, dick cheese! All these cars, they broke down. This 
the I can park wherever I want button. Does this guy expect cars and pedestrians alike to be split like the Red Sea as soon as they see the illustrious Zero Enigma coming their way? I mean, shit, traffic exists. Roads are not always going to be perfectly cleared and tidy just because you want to ride a bike. This guy probably jerks off to himself in the mirror with his inflamed self-importance he's flaunting. Wrong way, fucking donkey. Wrong way, asshole. Hey, hey, hey! Where's your fucking signal? You know, I see a lot of cyclists and motorcyclists do this kind of shit. Sure, the dude is at fault for not throwing on a blinker, and that is rightfully annoying. But it's like these dumbasses make a point of accelerating into their path just to try to get hit and make a big scene. Like, they teach defensive driving for a reason. It's not worth getting fucking ran over to make a point. Put a light in front of the cop. See what happens. Absolutely nothing! Right in the street, coward! Asshole walkway is on your right! Wrong way, asshole! You know, a small part of me almost feels bad for making fun of this guy because it's obvious that he's living such a miserable life that he can only deal with it by taking it out on random people who he can run away from. But, uh, not, not bad enough not to make this video. Yep, that's gonna help, Mr. Ossifer. Yep, keep using that siren, that's gonna help. Oh no! Red Light Warriors, you know what to do in the comments! This video should be shown in psychology classes around the world when discussing narcissism. This guy wants everyone to follow rules to the T when it affects him. But he lane splits, run red lights, doesn't yield to shit, essentially gives cops the finger trying to test them and get a reaction. Nothing applies to him. What a delusional little man. Wrong way, kumquat! I guess you don't know how bike lanes work! Good job! Great driving! Great driving! Good job! Throw the light right in front of the cop. Nothing! This time he was looking dead at me. What? Fucking cut that guy off. Don't worry, I took care of it for you. I'm glad I don't have fucking wide handlebars. sidewalk for three seconds. Crucify me! Well, I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't I? That's what you do to literally everybody who does anything you don't like for two seconds. I am telling you that this guy is going to end up getting shot. He's gonna catch someone on the wrong day, call them a kumquat, and just get fucking blasted. Well, there you have it. Your introduction into the world of Zero Enigma. And can we appreciate for a moment the hard work and dedication that goes into these videos? I mean, do you know how much of a miserable bastard you have to be to consistently put out 20 minutes of you harassing people every week? I mean, that is dedication to being an asshole right there. Zero Enigma, you're really helping the way the world views cyclists. Keep on keeping on. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really does help my channel grow. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Wow, what a little wiener. Aren't you glad you are subscribed to August the Duck instead of that guy? I mean, you are subscribed to August the Duck, right? I sure hope so. Cause if not, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.